Hello and welcome to the Northwest Fusion Group YouTube channel. I'm Ian G0 VGS. In previous videos we've looked at setting up an FTM 400 in portable HRI mode with wires X. In this video we're going to go one step further and introduce another piece of equipment from Yesu. This is an HRI 200. I did an unboxing uh, of this device uh, on this channel. The very first video uh, I did on this channel actually. Um, and I promised you then that I would revisit it to show you how to set it up. It's taken me a couple of years, I'll grant, but hey, we're there now. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. Uh, there's an LED on the front, a power LED. And on the back, uh, there's a USB port. Um, this serves to power the device and also as uh, an interface between the HRI 200 and the WireZX software on your PC. Uh, you also plug your radio in here uh, with the included 10 pin to 10 pin cable. Um, don't worry about the other radio interface for the moment. And there's a monitor here that you can plug a pair of speakers into, uh, powered speakers they need to be, uh, in order to hear what's going on in here if you don't uh, have a radio connected. Without a doubt, this is the best and most stable way to run a WireZX node. It gives you your own room, also handles analog capable rooms without any issue. It does mean, however, that you're dedicating a radio to use with it. You will need a second radio to access WireZX. As with any Yesu device you wish to use with WireZX, you will have to register it at yesu.com. And I covered this in the video setting up a WireZX node part one. One thing to watch out for though, is that anytime you register a device, you will need to use a separate user ID at yesu.com. If you don't, Yesu will think that you're simply replacing the existing device with another device, having maybe sold on the original. So any new device you register with yesu.com, use a separate user ID. What I do is I, I register the first one, for example, with G0VGS, the second one with G0VGS1, and so on. If you've been using WireZX previously, the chances are that you have WireZX set to start up uh, when you start the PC. So the first thing you're going to have to do is stop that. So if you come down into the system tray here, find your WireZX icon here, and right click on it, and untick auto start. Then you can close down WireZX safely in the knowledge that it won't come back up again until you tell it to do so. So the next thing we want to do is install the uh, driver for the HRI 200. We need to do that before we plug the HRI 200 in. The first thing to do is to find out where you downloaded WireZX to. And once you've gone to that folder, within there you'll find the install option. And we need to do that. We're not going to install WiseX, but we need to install the HRI driver, which is part of this install. So double click install and click yes. We can get rid of that now. And you can see now that we've got the HRI 200 device driver set up. So we just click that. Then it tells us to connect the HRI 200. Once you've done that, simply click OK. Depending on the speed of your machine, it might take a few seconds to install the driver, but it really is quite quick. Once done, you can close this window. Then restart WireZX. Once WireZX has started, you can see that it's found the HRI 200 right away, and you can see it's found the device down here. At the moment, you can see that we've got a red on-air lock icon. And that's because currently we don't have a radio connected. So the next thing we need to do is go to the file menu and transceiver and we need to input the information that we want our attached radio to have. Just in the same way we did for portable HRI mode we need to enter the frequency and so on. So the next thing we need to do is connect the radio. So we connect the 10 pin lead from the HRI 200 to the back of the FTM 400 in this case, and then start up the radio 
as if you were using portable HRI mode by pressing the two red buttons and the power button at the same time. When that's complete, you'll see that it says HRI 200 on the screen. And if we look back to YSX now, you'll see that the on-air light is now normal. We're almost ready to go. The big difference between using an HRI 200 and portable HRI mode is that we need to forward some ports. And I've done a video about forwarding ports uh, on this channel. If you go to the tools menu and go to port check, you'll see here that everything says it's not working. If we start a port check, it will check everything and then it will simply fail. Until you've done the port forwarding in your router, you won't be able to use YSX with your HRI 200. So the next thing to do is to set up the port forwarding in the router. And you can see how to do that and which ports to forward in the video about port forwarding on this channel. Once you've forwarded all the ports, you can run the test once again to check everything is working. And there we are. All six ports are now showing green. If all six ports aren't showing green, make sure that you've forwarded all the required ports in your router. Once all six ports are showing green, you're ready to use YSX with your HRI 200. Well, I hope you found that useful. In previous videos, we've looked at setting up YSX by using an FTM 400 in portable HRI mode. We've now completed the cycle by introducing the HRI 200. On the downside, the HRI 200 means that you've always got to use a second radio. The radio that's attached to the HRI 200 can't be used on its own and needs to be accessed by a secondary device. On the positive side though, the HRI 200 is by far the best way of using YSX. It supports all of the features of the YSX system. It gives you your own room should you wish to use it and deals with analog capable rooms without a problem. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all the new people who've subscribed over the last few videos. It's great to see you. And I hope you continue to enjoy the content. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It'd be great to have you with us. It's totally free and it means that you'll get notifications every time I release a new video. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching. Cheerio. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and do consider subscribing to the channel. If you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you every time I release a new video.